welcome back to another vlog, you guys. Today I am going to be vlogging. We are about to head out right now and we're gonna do our shopping for the week. So it's Sunday. Usually I don't do it on Sunday, but we're kind of just trying out things, switching up our schedule a little bit. So um, we're gonna go to Target, probably Sprouts and Trader Joe's too. So I'll show you guys what I get. And um, yeah, I'll just kind of show you what the day is like. So thank you for joining me, Charles, on another vlog and let's go ahead and get into it. One thing I always do, even if it's a warm day, is I grab a jacket. So I'm gonna grab a jacket. Got Amazon sweats on, old school Gucci slides, Abercrombie tank. I have had this Louis bag for many, many years. This jean jacket, the brand is Able. It's the softest denim jacket ever. It's almost like wearing a sweater and I love it. I'm so glad that I've kept it over the years. I might still have it actually. I've recently linked it, I think. Oops. All right, you guys. Well, I don't need this jacket now. Because this is for Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is always cold. Okay. Got everything I need. And, oh, you guys got to go in your houses. It is a beautiful day today. It's going to be like in the 70s. We already did our three-mile walk this morning. We have to do a cardboard dump at some dumpsters because we accumulate so much cardboard. So we're going to go throw it in like a cardboard dumpster. Oh, yeah. my The back of my car is filled. And then we're going to go grab a Starbucks and run some errands. Guess what we got, you guys? Look at us. Aren't we fancy? We got mics. Oh. Mics. Like, on. Mike has a mic. I know. A... I don't know. Anyways, we'll see if the sound is better. We're trying to, you know, upgrade these. Upgrade this for you guys. Get this quality on point. At the gym? Oh. Uh, well, something completely warmed up? Yeah. I go forever. I don't, I don't break, I don't tap. I'm, I I can't believe, I used to watch the clock at the gym and like, pay attention to shit. I don't pay any attention now. I actually like would want the clock to go slower so I can spend more, it's weird. God, how did that switch flip? I don't know. It's wonderful though. The fuck, you should be watching your workout, paying attention to your intensity. Well, I know that now, but yeah. I, I used to. Never watch the clock. I used to just want to get the fuck out of there. I mean, you see, I never like hound you to go. Yeah. You always come get me. Yeah. I don't like this one. The grocery's still all messed up. It's irritating. It's annoying. Hurry the fuck up and figure it out. It's irritating. Motherfucker. Right, you guys, we are headed into Target, but we're just going to the Starbucks here. They, they actually are remodeling this Target and they have a really nice Starbucks, but the grocery section still totally messed up. So we are just going for coffee. Well, our Starbucks is just, it's just not. It's not working for us. A little update. Huge line at the Starbucks in Target. Mike said it's usually really fast there. So we turned around. Then we placed our mobile order for a different Starbucks. And it's been 20 minutes. And it's still not ready. Mike is going to come out of that Starbucks heated. Be prepared. You're not going to be too happy. Oh shoot, it wouldn't let me open my window. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Looks like they actually made it correctly. You can close my door, thank you. Do you guys wanna see that? It is, this is my order. Cold brew, Vinny cup, extra ice, two pumps sugar for vanilla, two stevias, splash of non-fat milk. Go slow, yeah, good. 
road rage over here, you guys. Look at that. Look at that car over there. Are you kissing his bumper? It's kissing the, the van's off. bumper. He's gonna get, he's gonna, good, I'm glad he didn't like let up. They probably ignored it. Please. You always, uh, Please. when someone does that to you, what do you do, baby? You break. I roll the one down, look at him. Like, you wanna get tough? Start shit, but if you want to fuck around and find out, we can take the next exit. I've, I've plenty of times I point the next exit and pull over there. You always say that pull over. The tie hash and argument. Nobody's gonna pull over, babe. Nobody. They all talk tough in the car. Do they them. look at you? Oh yeah, they get. They look. Oh, at they you. look at me. And sometimes I'll look and they want to act tough. I'll look at them and then they see the, the ink and they look in my. Then they look like. So they turn their statues and take off. No, sort of yeah, because I have a personal plate and they can tell it. It's a girl's personal plate. Yeah, so right. they think they're running up on a And then <laughs> they see you at some comedy. I'm looking for tinted windows and I roll the window down. Yeah, the, the tinted windows. How many times that happen? A lot. Yeah. Because they don't think it's going to be you nope. popping out of there. Been it real. Busted. So? I ain't busted. I don't get busted. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Look, he's being a good citizen. We put the carts back. We put our carts back. Extra steps, guys. And it helps out. The hardworking employees if you do that. All right, got my coffee still. We're gonna get home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm gonna um, make something for you guys. A good little easy meal prep dish, it's super easy. So we will be getting into it. Are you, are you, go are you going somewhere to watch football? No. You should make a thing. This, uh, this gets lost. Oh, yeah. These little things. All right, so just some fruit, strawberries. This is a really good light shredded cheese. I'm going to use that in a second to make something for you guys. And this I got at Trader Joe's also. We're gonna do like meal prep enchiladas. I'm gonna show you how easy they are, how macro friendly. And I'm also gonna use this for it. This is shredded chicken. I wanted to get something really quick that's already made so that I can put this together for you guys. Um, love the ultra thin slices of um, this cheese. My oven is beeping. I think I'm going to do some pita wraps. So I got some cabbage. I got more tomato soup because I loved that last week. So I'm going to do some of that. Oh, I left that there. This protein. Okay. This is the other fridge. Because uh, that, that's you're going to barbecue that, right? Yeah, yeah. But you have to take it out a little bit. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. But it's with your protein. So it's All right. When you're ready, just let me know. Um. Oh, I got these because th these are great for like a quick, easy breakfast. I'll have this. I was thinking I'm going to do this this week, like egg bites, with a bagel thin on the side with some pumpkin cream cheese from Trader Joe's that I got last week that I haven't really ate yet. I'm going to show you guys this. This is the best granola. It's really like small pieces, so it's really easy to like measure out. 
and a third cup is 110 calories. That is really good. So 25 grams, 110 calories. That's really good macros. You get a lot. You actually get a lot. So even he says serving suggestion. This is such a good um, yogurt, berries, and granola. It's so good. And I think that's pretty much it. Just got a little bit of fruit. I got some peaches at Sprouts. Got some bananas. You know, got to get the Diet Coke. Who am I kidding? All right, so... By the way, I got this, not to have a cereal, just to have like a third serving on my Ninja Creamy for crunch. It tastes so good with just like, I mean, not even a third, it's just like I sprinkle just like a couple on my Ninja Creamies. And then I do a tablespoon of this caramel sauce and it is so good. Look, it tastes like going to an ice cream shop. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my meal prep enchilada bowls. These are literally the easiest thing to meal prep. I'm only gonna make one bite right now, but you could easily make four in just the same amount of time. You're gonna be shook. And the macros are so good. So I use these little round Pyrex bowls. You can actually get these in like a, a four pack at Target. But I like these because they are the perfect size for a tortilla. So let me just show you the ingredients first. So I use that. I'm going to use so easy because we're going to do the prepared shredded chicken from Target. This is light shredded cheese, enchilada sauce. I get the enchilada sauce from Trader Joe's. It's only 30 calories for a third cup. So it's really macro friendly. And then you can use any ta uh, like a taco sized tortilla. Obviously, I like to use the 25 calorie if I can find them. You could do flour, the Guerrero 25 calorie flour. Or if you can't find these 25 calorie ones, there's 50 calorie ones that are easy to find. So um, just whichever ones you do, and you can have as many layers as you want, just depends on your macros. I'll probably do two layers for this um, particular bowl. So then you just assemble it and you assemble it right on top of your food scale. So I'm gonna bring this camera down and show you how easy this is. The cool thing about doing it in these bowls also is um, you just assemble your bowls, but then you pop it into either a toaster oven, a confection oven, or a traditional oven when you're ready to, to eat it. So you don't even have to bake these right now. You just assemble. And then when you're ready to eat it, you just take the lid off and pop it in the oven. It's so easy. It doesn't need to be cooked. It just needs to be heated in the oven. Or I guess you could in the microwave as well. I usually put it in the oven though. 60 grams is 30 calories. I might do two servings of sauce. That is 60 grams of sauce, which is 30 calories. So we'll see how much sauce I decide I'm gonna use. I'm gonna spray the bottom of this. And we'll start with a little bit of sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna do a tortilla. I just put really little sauce on the bottom. And let's zero this out and add some chicken. 84 grams of chicken. So I'll probably do like 44 grams right now. Only half of it. I mean 40. 42 grams. Okay. So you got the chicken. Now I'm going to do 
half of the cheese, so we'll do 14 grams, 15 grams of cheese. Now I'm going to add some of this sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put in another tortilla. You can kind of smoosh it down. Now we're going to do the rest of the chicken, 42. I'm not going to do cheese in this layer because I want to save cheese for the top. So I'm going to do some more sauce. Do, I'm going to do more sauce, probably like half a, half a serving, half a serving. So half a serving, so we went with a serving and a half of the sauce just so that it's nicely moist and flavorful. We'll top it with cheese, so 14 more grams of cheese for the top. There you have it. So there's your little enchilada bowl. I'm not gonna eat it quite yet, but obviously the magic of YouTube, you won't have to wait too long. But um, that's how easy they are to meal prep. And then I'll make it and then I'll add, you know, you can top it with whatever you want. Like I'll add some Faye yogurt for some extra protein. And I like that like to as like a sour cream substitute. Um, but you could also add like black olives, you can, you top it, you can add avocado or guacamole on top. So many possibilities and it just, it's super, super easy and convenient. So I'm gonna do some raspberries because I'm gonna have yogurt, but I'm gonna cook down the raspberries a little bit. I like to do that. little sugar-free syrup. And a teaspoon of chia seeds. So give some extra fiber. I want to cook that down. I'll press the juice out of the the raspberries. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And then you just smash it. You kind of, yeah, like smash, press the juice out of the raspberries. I do this with blueberries too. It brings out the flavor and it kind of, it just creates almost like a little jam, a little sauce instead of just the fruit. So I'm gonna let that kind of like heat up and then get some yogurt. Good old body. Let's see. We'll do 
12 grams, which is 55 calories. Raspberries are done. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. But first, let's get some almond butter. The raspberry sauce. Get a close up of this. So good. The chia thickens it a little bit and it gives you extra fiber, so it's like a win-win. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, wow. Mm-mm-mm, you guys, that's a winner. All right, you guys, before I close out this video, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on the Nutrition IX. I have gotten some questions on how I would add something like the um, enchiladas into the Nutrition IX app for the first time. So what I would do with something like that is something I would definitely remake. I will add all of the ingredients in and I'm going to save it as a recipe so that next time I just pull it in from my saved food. Um, but I'm going to put it up on the screen and then I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Okay, so let's pull up the app. I have not entered this in. I want to show you specifically how to use the scanner. So for the scanner, actually, let me stop the screen recording. Okay. For the scanner, you are going to tap on the little barcode in the upper right hand corner and See how there's that red line? There is a square, hopefully you can see that. And then there's a red line in the middle of the square. You wanna place the barcode right in the center of that line, so. Okay, so there's the barcode. Oops, I scanned something by accident right now. See, there's the red line. So I'm gonna place that red line in the center of that barcode. Oh, here's something else too you have to be careful of. When you have a barcode that's near QR codes, you have to make sure that you do not try to scan the QR code. So I am going to try to cover it up because that will give you an error. And there you go. I only, then it says four, right? But I only used two. So I'm gonna change that to two and then I'll go ahead and touch the scanner and scan my next item. So my next item is the enchilada sauce. So get the barcode in the center. And there's the enchilada sauce. And I am going to change it to grams and I'm gonna put in 90 grams because I ended up having, because it is 60 grams of serving but I had one and a half servings. So I'm gonna change this to 90 grams and it's 45 calories. So that's the second item. Now I'm gonna scan the chicken breast. And remember the line in front 
I mean, the line in the middle of the barcode, and then just kind of move around the phone till it focuses. And there we go. The serving size is correct already. And then, um, so I still have to add the FIA and stuff, but I just want to show you guys this. So you can log it as a multiple foods and it'll just log it individually, or you can do a single food recipe, which that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to have this multiple times. Then I can just pull it in very easily and I'll just call it enchiladas. Enchilada bowl. So now it'll be saved as an enchilada bowl. It's one serving. I'm going to log it today as a lunch today. And then I'm going to say log one serving. And now it's there as an enchilada bowl. So if I want to log this again another day, I just go into recipes and it's there, enchilada bowl. And I would just tap on it and log it in. And that's how easy that is. Sorry, hopefully that wasn't too shaky of footage, but I just want to show you how easy it is to do that. It's so easy, and if you eat the same things a lot of the time like I do, then it's just going to be really easy to track. It takes like half a second, you know what I mean, once you already are used to it. Um, the other thing, just a reminder, if you have any kind of other barcodes on your wrapper, you got to cover those. So a lot of people get errors. That's why they're getting errors. And just in closing, I just want to say just keep your food really simple. Think about ingredients you can put together, meals you can build. Try to avoid recipes, complicated recipes. All right, you guys, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. My dogs are about to go crazy, but we'll see you on the next one.